So how do you add environmental variables to your Ember app? Let's take a look. All right, I went ahead and created an app already here. And what we can do is we can add environmental variables to a file called .env. And I already created one here and I added something called my host and you can do it with or without quotes. I can also have quote right here. But in this case, let's just have something called one, two, three, four, five. And we, what we want to do is we want to include this environmental variable in our app somewhere. And to do that, first we need to install our, an add-on that I found that makes this a lot easier. It's called embercli.env. And so to do that, we can type ember install embercli.env. Can I see that in two lines there? I already have it installed, but I just want to show you how you do that. And then the next thing you do need to do is after you put all your secret variables in here is you probably actually want to do one other thing before you do that is you probably want to add it to your git ignore so by convention by default ember when you create a new application in ember cli it has a default ember uh, git ignore and this will make sure that it doesn't get into your git repository so then you would add something like this at the bottom so that way it doesn't get into your git uh, repository and then if we look at our app here what we need to do is we need to look at the config and then environment and I added this line at the top console.log process.env because what happens when you have this add-on installed you have access to the process.env variable inside your config and if I'll show you what will happen here. If I run ember s, actually, let me do this ember s dash dash port 5200 because I already have something running in 1400 right now. You could see here it, and I'll control C it here, it displays all your environmental variables and it also displays this my host. So you could see that it's working. My host is inside there, it's in our config. So if we go back to our config, we can go ahead and assign it to a variable. So I went ahead and did, did it right here. Let me, I'll comment that out. So I created a, something called my host, and that's gonna be linked to our process.env.my underscore host. So now we can use this environmental variable elsewhere in our program. And that instructions are in our in the website, and I'll include this link in the show notes. So you can see here, it tells you um, right here, config environment JS. So this is where you put your keys in. So you can put every key that you want in here. Uh, one other thing you need to do, like it says here, we need to go to embercli build.js. And let me close this other one. is we need to add this .env and we need to explicitly allow which keys we want to show in our client. And the reason you want to, the reason this is important is that you can then, once you do this, you can then uh, import in your environment variable throughout your app. But just realize that this client allowed keys is more of keys that you want to be public because once you have it inside your app, they are no longer going to be private. So someone who is savvy, who can open up the Chrome inspector when your app is deployed, will be able to grab these keys from it. If you're not going to be using it in your app, so you're probably thinking, well, why would you want to use this? Well, there's definitely times you want to grab stuff out of your, the environmental variables and have it inside your app. But there's also some plugins, um, and some other add-ons that you don't have to have it, you don't have to have this line in here because the you're gonna use the environmental variables in just in your environment JS or some other files. And so they'll stay secret. But for this sake of this quick demo, we're just gonna allow my host to be allowed inside the app. And then what I did here to show an example is uh, this is the default application. I went and created an application controller 
And inside the application controller, I added this import env. And what this is, you have to put the, the path of the name of your app config environment, and then you get access to that, to the my host variable. So now I can actually, on a press action, it's just gonna print out the my host in the console. And then what I did is in my templates, my application template, I just added a button that acts, that uh, has that pressed action, just to show you that's working. So since we did all that, and I'm going to go ahead and run it in port 5200. All right, it's loaded. And here's my local host, localhost 5200. I'm going to refresh it. Of course, we just have the basic default uh, app here. But here's my little press me button at the bottom. I'm going to turn on the inspector and go to the console. And let's see what happens. Oops. Let's see what happens when I hit press me. Okay, great. I see one, two, three, four, five. That was inside my environmental variable. So we know it works. Just to show you it still does, I'm gonna go back into the environmental variable. I'm gonna change that to, this is a secret. And let's see, this is a not so secret. And then I'm gonna restart server. And refresh it. And press me. Yep, if you can see here, it says this is not so secret. So we know it's working. So thank you so much for watching how we uh, added this this add-on, the Ember CLI.env add-on to add environmental variables to our Ember app. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and please click that subscribe button. Thanks.